Hey everyone, Brandon Quinn here, and today we're going to look at a simple but highly difficult logic puzzle called the Thog Problem. Four symbols are presented here, a black square, a white square, a black circle, and a white circle. I've secretly picked one of these symbols for myself, but I'm not going to tell you which one I picked. A symbol that has either the shape or the color in common with my symbol but not both, is called a THOG, T-H-O-G. So while I can't tell you what symbol I picked, I can tell you that the black square is a THOG. The question for you is, for each of the symbols above, can you determine if that symbol is either a THOG, definitely not a THOG, or if it's undecidable, meaning you don't have enough information to determine? You have to do this once for every symbol. In my opinion, this is a fascinating puzzle, difficult as it may be, so I highly encourage you to take as much time as you need to work out the solution. Pause the video now if you want to try to work out the solution for yourself, and when you're ready, come back and we'll review the answer together. Let's think about how we can approach the problem. First, we'll focus on the information we're given, and we're given three main pieces of information. The first piece is that I've secretly selected one of the symbols for myself, the second piece is that we've defined a class of symbols called THOG, and any symbol that either has the shape or the color in common with my secret symbol, but not both, is a THOG. And the third piece of information is that the black square is a THOG. The most concrete piece of information of the three is the fact that the black square is a THOG. So what does that tell us? It tells us that my secret symbol must either be black or a square, but not both. Let's list out the possibilities based on that observation. If my secret symbol is black, then it must be the black circle. It can't be the black square because the black square is already the thog. If that's the case, then the white circle is also a thog, sharing the circle property with the black circle. And the white square is definitely not a thog because it doesn't share either of the properties. Now let's consider the other possibility, the possibility that my secret symbol is a square, not black. If that's the case, then my secret symbol must be the white square, because again, the black square is the thog, as we already know from the problem. In that case, the white circle is again a thog, sharing the color in common with my secret symbol, and the white square itself cannot be a thog, because that is my secret symbol in this scenario. Both possibilities lead to the same outcome. This actually means we didn't even need to determine which symbol is my secret symbol, the one I selected. We just had to follow the logic to see that the white circle is definitely a thog, and we know from the problem that the black square is definitely a thog, and therefore the other two symbols are definitely not thogs. They are either the secret symbol that I selected, or have no relation to the secret symbol I selected whatsoever. This is an interesting example of a type of logic puzzle where the problem statement states that there's a certain piece of information that's out there that you don't have, and at first it might seem like you need to find out what that information is before you can solve the puzzle, but then as it turns out, just by evaluating the logical implications of the information you are given, you can actually arrive at the solution while never learning what that particular piece of information was. I think that this is something that some of the more difficult logic puzzles have in common. I hope you've enjoyed this puzzle as much as I did when I first encountered it. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing so you can stay up to date on more logic videos as I release them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.